Good day, everyone, and welcome to the Monday Market Breakdown. Now, guys, on this session, I'm going to be giving you an update on the pairs that we spoke about on our last session. And we're also going to be taking a look at the pair that you're going to be focusing on for this week. So without wasting any time, let us get into it. So as you do know, guys, we've been, we've been focusing mostly on what in Euro GBP. So just to give you an update to Euro GBP, so this eventually did do what did eventually hit our take profit. So if we can take a look at this, so we can see on the higher time frame that this was an impulsive movement. This was a sideways corrective strike. I pressed it from that breakout and then pressed the impulse all the way to the downside. And then in terms of our interest, so the main interest was this one, if I'm not mistaken. And also this one. So these two. I think we survived. Yeah, press the note take us out on this second one. And then finally was what this final one. So overall, we made some decent profits on this one. As you can see, the first one was 3%, second one was around 2%, and then the final one was around what? 3%. So overall, we made somewhere around like 8 to 9% profit on this move alone, on this impulsive movement alone. So on this one, eventually it did what it did hit what our take profit. So we've been stocking this one ever since the initial move happened. So that is it on Euro GBP. Second pair that we've been focusing on is what? The New Zealand dollar over the Swiss franc. So this one also, higher time frame. What are we seeing on the higher time frame? So higher time frame, this is an impulsive movement, sideways corrective strike, plus forming a breakout. So anticipating for this to, to continue to drop all the way to the downside. So currently, we are still in position with this one for somewhere around like 6% profit. And also on the second position, we are running somewhere around 1.2% profit on this one. As you can see, we're still holding some decent profits on this one. So this is still having some more potential to continue to drop all the way to the downside. But I'm going to give you an update if that continues to drop to the downside. And now the pair that you're focusing on for this week is going to be what the euro over the Swiss franc. So this one, let me give you a breakdown. So higher time frame, this is our impulsive movement. This is what our sideways corrective structure. So over here, we can see the price is giving us this sideways continuation structure that is waiting to do it to confirm that this is going to be impulsing all the way to the downside once it breaks out, right? Impulse correction, impulse. So waiting for this to break out. So if that happens, then we drop on the mid-term frame and see how the mid-term frame is looking like. As you can see, that continuation structure is looking even more clearer in the mid-term frame. So what we are going to do is drop on the lower term frame, and then that is when we are doing what we are looking for our entry. So in terms of our entry, what am I looking for? Just a simple impulsive movement followed by a sideways corrective structure somewhere just before the breakout or after the breakout. And then that is when I will do it. I will be executing my cells like so. So it's just a few pips in the breakout stops, just a few pips above, and take profit all the way to the downside. So this is how I'm looking at what at the euro over this is franchise. So hopefully this does play out as anticipated. But I will continue to give an update on this pair and as well as the other pair if they continue to develop in our direction. So yeah, guys, this is going to be the end of our session, nice and simple. Hopefully this session was very informative, but I will see you next time on our next session. Take care.